Okay, I'm just going to show a little video here of how to wire up um, a pair of amplifiers in a strap configuration. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do. Um, a lot of manufacturers will provide a uh, diagram that will show you how to do this um, with the paperwork that comes with amplifiers. Um, AQ does this, um, for example. Um, I also went ahead and drew up a diagram that's a little bit easier to follow and a little bit bigger to see. Um, as you can see here, um, I have a picture of the master and the slave. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your input RCAs here that come into your master. You will have a link RCA that will connect from your master to your slave. And all you do is set all your gains and your filters and everything on your master. You don't touch anything on the slave. And you will just click the, the switch on the slave amplifier to slave and click the switch on the master to master. And then how you wire up the voice coils um, for the speaker outputs, um, you take the negative on each amplifier and connect them together um, with 8 gauge cable preferably. Um, you can do two pieces in here um, like I have drawn in this picture and I'll show you that on my amplifiers as well. And then you take the positive from the master that goes to the positive side of your voice coil and you take the negative um, from the slave, um, actually, excuse me, you take the positive from the slave and use that as the negative to the voice coil. Um, most amplifiers in a strap configuration will be stable at 2 ohms. Um, and what I'll show you here is on the AQ amplifiers, um, this is how I have these in this configuration as well. Um, this one here on the left side is the slave, the one on the right is the master. You can see here is the input RCAs. Um, also, you would just have your remote gain knob um, connected into the master. It will not function on the slave. Nothing is functionable on this board on the slave um, when it is in the slave setting. You just have your link RCA that goes from the master over to the slave. I just used a JO audio video cable um, here. You can use any cable you want to. Um, all it's doing is just getting signal from this amplifier over to the other one so that way you have a complete circuit. And on the voice coil wiring, as you can see here, here's the speaker readings. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but this one here is, this is the slave amp. This is the positive here. It is going to the negative voice coil. It's two pieces of eight and just got, twisted together into a four gauge ring. And then on the positive side, I have two pieces of eight that link across over to the other negative. Excuse me, this is the negative side. I said positive, but it's the negative side as well. Um, it can get a little confusing. Um, that's why it's helpful to have the diagram when you're wiring it up, but uh, if you take your time with it, it's really not that difficult. Um, just make sure that you connect both negatives together with the link cable. The positive of the master goes to the positive of the voice coil, and then the positive of the slave goes to the negative of the voice coil. That's pretty much about it. And then you just set all your gains and everything accordingly on uh, the master side. Um, also another thing uh, that I've noticed um, some people have questions about is does this knob um, on the AQ amplifiers control bass boost, gain, what does it do, how does it work? Um, it, all it controls is gain and it is a fine adjustment for gain. The actual adjustment on the amplifier is your course adjustment and then the knob, like in my setup, um, is your fine adjustment. So you can dial it in more accurately. Um, the AQ amplifiers also have a clipping indicator light that will start to flash when you begin to clip and as you raise the gain up more you can actually see that light go on solid. So when it becomes solid, you're in a full square wave. You are clipping those uh, woofers extremely bad. So um, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to post a comment or just uh, send me a, a message. Hope you enjoyed it.